Hi and welcome to John's Maths Book. In this video, we're going to be looking at Euler's method, the numerical solution to differential equations. If you like the video, then please hit the like button and I'd be delighted and honoured if you'd subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go over to the whiteboard. Euler's method is a numerical method used to find the solution to first order differential equations. It's used to find an approximate solution given an initial condition or starting point. It then increments the x values in a series of steps until it reaches the point at which the solution can be found. So to start with, we will be given a differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of xy. This represents the gradient of the tangent at any point on the solution curve y of x. We are also provided with an initial condition or a starting point on the solution curve. To help us understand what's going on, let's take a look at a graph. I've graphed the function of y of x in purple. This is unknown and the solution to the differential equation. What we do know is an initial value or starting point on the curve marked here as x0, y0. I've also drawn in the tangent to the curve at our starting point, shown here as the green line. We are able to calculate the slope of the tangent by using our initial values of x and y and substituting them into the derivative of the function y of x. In this case, the differential equation shown here as f of x0, y0. As Euler's method is an iterative method, we need to iterate towards the approximate value of y that we are trying to find by moving along the x-axis in a series of steps. So shown here is our first step from x0, our initial value, to x1. Our step size in this case is denoted by h. The corresponding value of y1 can be found by drawing a vertical line up until it reaches our tangent and then using what we know about the gradient of straight lines. So let's see how we do this. We know that the gradient of a line is simply the rise divided by the run. So here the rise is y1 minus y0 and the run is x1 minus x0. We can see that the run also equates to our step size h. We can replace the run x1 minus x0 with h. This now gives us the gradient of our tangent. The gradient is also given by the derivative f of xy at our initial condition x0, y0. So we can now equate the two and solve for y1. So y1 is equal to y0 plus h, the step value, multiplied by f of x0, y0. On the diagram, I've marked the point x1, y1. As you can see, it's an approximation to the curve, and the vertical y distance is the error in the approximation. If we had used the smaller step size, this would have produced a better approximation as shown on the diagram. We now have a new starting point x1, y1. We can now repeat this process by stepping along the x-axis by a distance x1 plus h until we reach x2 and calculate the corresponding y value y2. We can calculate y3 in the same way. We will be able to calculate our final approximation of y, which will be the value we are trying to find, when we step along the x-axis n times to reach the required point on the x-axis xn, where xn is equal to x0 plus n times h. So we can generalize the iterative process into the formula y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h times f of x n y n. Now let's look at a real example of how we can apply Euler's method. So given that we have a differential equation of dy by dx is equal to x plus y, and the value of y is equal to 3 at the point x is equal to 1. So we'd like to find the approximation for y at the point x is equal to 2 using Euler's method, using two equal steps. So in this example, our initial condition says that our x value is equal to 1. So our starting point for x is at 1, and we want to find the value of y at x is equal to 2. We're also asked to use two equal steps to get from 1 to 2 on the x-axis. So to go from x equals 1 to x equals 2 using two steps on the x-axis, we need to start at 1 
then we need to go to 1.5 and then to 2. So in this case, our step value or H is equal to 0 0.5. I've created a grid here so that we can iterate through to our solution. And the column headers are N, X, Y, and DY by DX. So N is the number of steps. So we start at zero and we're using two steps. So the X column starts at one, which is our initial condition, and then increases by 0 0.5 until we get to X is equal to two. For the Y column, we only have the initial condition of three. And at the moment, we don't have any values in the DY by DX or the derivative column. So starting at n is equal to zero, let's first calculate the der derivative or dy by dx. Now we know that dy by dx is equal to x plus y, and we know what x and y are because they're the initial conditions. So x is one and y is three at the initial conditions. So dy by dx is equal to four. Now we can move on to n is equal to one. So our first step and calculate the value of y based on our general formula of y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus h times f of x n y n. So the value of y at this step is the initial value of y or y 0 which is 3 plus h which is 0 0.5 multiplied by the derivative at x 0 y 0. Now we work that out to be 4. So we have 3 plus 0 0.5 times 4, which equals 5. And at this step, we need to find the derivative. Now we know that dy by dx is equal to x plus y. And at this step, x is 1.5 and y is 5. So 1.5 plus 5 is 6.5. And moving on to step 2 and the final step, to find the y value, we need the y value from the previous stage plus the step value multiplied by the derivative at the previous stage. So y at the previous stage was 5. The step was 0 0.5 as before. And the derivative at the previous stage was 6.5. So we have 5 plus 0 0.5 times 6.5. So the final value of y that we're looking for is equal to 8.25.